Okay, so that was just a quick overview. And let's go through some of the specifics here. We'll start with indeed.com. Okay, so you can see here I went to www.indeed.com and I'll put all these links down in the information section. Uh, you can search for things here and then where. Where do you want to search for things? You can post your resume on indeed.com so employers can find you. Uh, same thing with uh, dice.com and monster. You can post your resume on their website. And then the employers, the headhunters. Headhunters is a fancy word for people who go out and, and uh, find people to fill the positions. Uh, up here in the corner it says sign in. So you can create an account on indeed.com. And then you can log into the account. Post your resume. Search for jobs. Okay, so just as an example, we'll enter the zip code for New York City. And just click find jobs. So you can see just in New York City, there's about 140,000 jobs. And then down here on the side, it says within 25 miles. So we can say within five miles of that zip code, there's uh, 70,000 jobs. Within 50 miles, 200,000. We'll go within 25 miles and let's pick a topic. Let's say, food service so you can see as I type that in I, I get this drop down it's trying to give me suggestions I can click on one of these or I can just go with food service and there's 12,000 food service jobs within 25 miles of 10001. If I wanted to, I could just type something in. Okay, so within 25 miles of Baltimore, there's only 18 jobs for maid service. Now if I type in housekeeping, you can see just by changing the word a little bit, the search term I get more jobs now they're saying there's about 1400 and here you can see they're saying uh, 18 new ones it's giving me a list of my previous searches in case I want to go back to them clear searches I could go down to the bottom of the page and click on next or I could click two to go to page two and okay, now it's giving me a pop-up uh, do I want to get email updates for the 
housekeeping jobs. I can enter in my email address here and click the activate button and then I'll get an email telling me what are the new housekeeping jobs in Baltimore. That's a real nice feature. I use that one a lot. So. Okay, so that's how you would search. Uh, I definitely recommend creating an account. I click the sign in button and then it asks you to enter in your email and your password. Hopefully you have an email account uh, and you might want to create a new email account for your job search. Uh, you might have an email account but it may be some strange name so when you're looking for work, you want to have a, a normal email address. Like if your name is John Smith, then the initial of your first name, and then your last name, J. Smith. Okay, and then the at sign, and then whatever company you set up your email account at. Google is probably the main place to go these days. Google's email account system is called gmail.com. You have to create this ahead of time. If you just go out to Google see here it says sign in this little section here click there and here's Gmail that's Google's email you can create a Gmail account here free and we'll walk through that in a future video but just in case you don't have one, I wanted to uh, just uh, give you a general idea where that's at. Okay, so let's just skim through these. I'll give you a general idea of what they are. Uh, they all kind of work the same. So you can see here, you can search for something. in some type of city click search you see here you can specify more information you can say I I only want to do part time within a radius of 20 miles And it shows us a list of the uh, jobs. Now sometimes uh, they're not all what you're looking for. Like I typed in computer here. So any ad that had the word computer in the job post, it'll pull those job ads in. You go down to the bottom, click next or click to okay so dice and I've got the links right to the, the advanced search See if we just go to dice.com it starts off it's just like a basic search. We can enter in a search term, some type of city. Uh, and 
something else that uh, these websites have is career centers. They have lots of articles on things concerning job search. The monster main web page. You have career services here. And there's all these different areas. Resume writing services, resume advice, and so on. Career board. So career board's kind of odd because these are the these are the uh, job posts here. And then as you click on one of these, it opens up over here. So that's real strange to get used to. But on my other computer, I, I'm logged into my account and they make it real easy to apply. You, on most of the job ads, you just click this button one or two clicks and you've sent the company your resume. And then down at the bottom here says more locations. Click on there and it shows you the other cities around the country. So we could go to like Dallas, Texas. Here's all the openings. View all jobs in Dallas. And then you can search off that. Okay, so then we can click edit search and we can pick a specific business, a uh, area that we work in, when was it posted, job type, full time, part time. Within 50 miles, 25 miles. So here we'll say real estate. So here's the real estate jobs in Dallas. Let's see if we go to the Office of Personnel Management. then down here click on job seekers go USA jobs and you can see how that brings us to usajobs.gov which is this site here USA jobs okay so I think we're gonna call it a day and next time we'll come back and uh, look at some of these job postings and show you actually how to apply for one. Okay, see ya. Bye.